and welcome to this session on anatomy and practically we are going to be studying the anatomy of the anterior abdominal wall which we need to understand because anterior abdominal wall anatomy is important when in gynecology we are doing laparoscopic surgery and it is also important for us when we are trying to do any form of laparotomy. So this laparotomy predominantly for us includes lower segment cesarean sections and any open surgical procedures. So we need to understand this. Basically, before we go to the practical video, this is something which you need to keep in mind. Through the umbilicus, okay, this is how the abdomen would look like. Once you open the layers of the abdomen, the muscle which you have inside is the rectus abdominis muscle. The rectus abdominis muscle is obviously covered by the anterior and the posterior rectus sheath. Okay, so if I were to draw it in a separate plane, this is the straight on view which we have. Okay, this is the normal view of the abdomen which we have. If in case I were to draw this for all of you in the sagittal view. Okay, so in the sagittal view, I will first draw the umbilicus for you. Okay, so this is how the umbilicus would look through any of the sagittal cut planes. Inside, the first layer of the skin, we obviously have some layer of fat. Alright, through this layer of the fat, we have a small fascia. Okay, this is how you would see the fascia. Underneath the fascia, you would again have some fat which comes along. All right, this fat which comes along then leads us to the anterior rectus sheath. I'll draw it in pink color. So the anterior rectus sheath is somewhere here. Underneath the anterior rectus sheath, I'll draw it in brown color for all of you. You have the rectus abdominis muscle. These are your muscle fibers. And you have the posterior rectus sheath. So let me again draw the posterior rectus sheath for all of you in pink color because it marks the rectus sheath and this rectus sheath ends somewhere here. Okay. So what is it that we need to understand anterior abdominal wall and especially the region of the umbilicus is a part of this video. Okay. So if you see in the level of the umbilicus here, if I just mark this entire area for all of you, you will see a typical thing which happens is that the distance, if you cut here, let me use the cut in red color. So if you were to cut somewhere here, the distance which you have have to travel to enter inside the abdomen is the least, isn't it? Because below this rectus sheath, which I have drawn, let me draw in blue color, the peritoneum and underneath the peritoneum, you have the organs, you have the viscera. Okay, so this is your peritoneum. All right, this is your peritoneum. So that means that the distance from here is the least to enter in the abdomen. Simultaneously, simple law of physics. If you were to go perpendicular, the distance which you have to travel is less. So when you put your ports in laparoscopic surgery through the umbilicus, it is important to understand that you go perpendicular to the plane. All right, now. This basic understanding of anatomy is important of the anterior abdominal wall at the level of the umbilicus when you want to do laparoscopic surgery because in laparoscopic surgery, if you know this anatomy, you will be able to enter the abdomen safely. Okay, this is the most important point of knowing this anatomy. Second, obviously, you know, we have some of the rare diseases like umbilical endometriosis and all these things, which we will discuss later, where also we need to study the anatomy of umbilicus very nicely. Now, after having learned this basic part, let us go straight to the live video where we can see how exactly we can use this anatomy of the umbilicus and the anterior abdominal wall for us practically. Friends, sometimes when you are doing a diagnostic laparoscopy, you will want to do a umbilical incision 
all right it is important to understand that umbilicus is one place where all the fascia will come up and unite so when the fascia will come up and unite that is the point where your entry inside the abdomen will be the thinnest okay so the least amount of distance will have to be traveled so one of the easiest things is you can just place an artery forceps and spread the artery forceps so you will go in the depth of the umbilicus now see here this is the point where it is the thinnest which my can you come little close yeah beautiful so that is the point where the entry point is the thinnest can you see that just make an incision with a stab knife when you want to use an umbilical entry for a 10 mm trocar so see this is a 10 mm incision which automatically widens due to the physics and the pressure mechanism of the fulcrum of the artery forceps once it widens you can see that yellow yellow thing which is there inside which visma is now showing beautifully right that yellow thing is just the preperitoneal layer okay so if in case you poke slightly inside it so if you go with this see that is the preperitoneal layer this is an apple trocar important to understand by everyone is that your point of entry has to be perpendicular okay do not do this when you do this the distance traveled is higher don't do that keep your entry point perpendicular and with a perpendicular entry point if you just enter inside the abdomen just lift and you enter and you are inside got it this is the simplest way of entering through the abdomen okay and you will have a perpendicular entry hopefully without any injuries and absolutely safe thank you so much